Good everyone, oh, good to today we have a combo request by Shadow for the KPZ M41 and the Focke 190 F8. Now, two things before I begin. Um, it's highly likely we're going to get into a 7-3 game, because every single time I've tried this, I've gone into a 7-3 match. And B, you can probably tell that my voice is on its way out. It's just feeling a little sore, because I've had to do a couple of, like, a couple of recordings in one day. And my throat is dying as a result, because they're quite long stuff, like long videos to do. And as you can imagine, my throat doesn't appreciate it. So the KPZ M41 is a well-respected light tank by me. I love the thing, it's a great little light tank, but fighting in a 7-3 match is not going to be fun, because the teams on Germans don't seem to be very good. And with the F8 being in a potential jet match, that might be an issue, but we've got a 1,000 kilogram bomb, so I don't think anyone's going to really care. That was requested also by Shadow, he wanted me to use the 1,000. So before I begin, and obviously hit the matchmaker and everything, um, obviously I've had to push back the well, some of the sub-requests and all that. I do apologise for that, but don't worry, they are coming. Because, well... I always put patch stuff before sub requests, that's just how I've been, because obviously people want to see the new stuff and they don't really want to see combos as much as they would want to see the new stuff that I can get my hands on. But even so, I'm I'm more than happy to like do sub requests and stuff like that, but obviously at the moment I'm currently full up just because I've been pushing them back that much. So we've got what right English White Rock Fortress. I need to stop slipping my tongue. And we're in a 7-3 match once again, because Gaijin seems to hate me recently. Yeah, 7-3 for a KPZ Bulldog is not nice at all. Oh, that's better. Nice cold drink to help my throat. I think I've got a lozenge in my desk, so I might have to get one of those out. I, I keep all sorts of stuff in my desk, like tactical snacks and stuff, like paracetamol and stuff, and even lozenges, just because you never know, you might have a sore throat one day. My desk is just full of stuff that I would need. That also includes chewing gum, like juicy fruit. Sometimes even extra. But I, but I love juicy fruit. Juicy fruit is just so, like, it's just so sugary, but it's just so nice. You've got to appreciate it. Okay, well, we've got exactly one teammate coming to back us up over here. That is a Pershing. Yes, it is 7-3, buddy. Now, Pershing isn't a huge concern, but... What is that? Is that an Ontos? That's Centurion. Yeah, we're overnumbered at least two to one here. Okay, didn't get the gunner, but I at least got two of the crew. And my teammate is trying to drive right up in front of them. I get a bad feeling that Antos is going to try and flank. Yep, the Antos has gone up there. I might be able to heat FS him though. Nope, he just died. He just died. There we go. Popped him like a champagne cork. First kill. That's really the only way. What is that? Ah, oh, shit, M18. And I can hear something else as well. And my teammate is blind as a bat in typical fashion.
It's gonna wait now. Are you freaking serious? I shot that barrel. I know I hit that barrel. And that's a Carnarvon. We are royally fucked against that thing. Just gotta try and jump off, I suppose. That's really our only hope. It's a fucking Carnarvon. Thank you. Where's that Carnarvon? Others don't just disappear like that, unless he's fucking dark magician. I think he's still up here. Yep, he is. Alright, we got the breach. That's good. That's what we needed. And low plate. There we go. Carnarvon down. Woof. A fucking dark magician in the ass. I thought he disappeared. Jesus. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh reference, so... If anyone didn't get it, I'll just re-explain it. Yu-Gi-Oh was something I grew up with a lot. It's a trading card game. A very nice one, actually. I still play it to this day, funny thing. Just got those two. Command a load of horizontal turret drive, although I don't think that breach is out. Looks like it wasn't, but looks like his breach misfired. Oh, good, that's friendly. Loader a machine gunner. I don't know if we managed to get his gun in time. That was a poor shot by me. Didn't it penetrate? That's surprising. We're gonna jump into plane in a second. We just need to deal with this purging. Why are you bringing that? And we're being shot at by him because teammates always have to be nice. We have to try and bait the purging to fire. Thank you. Will you piss off? Jesus! Like a fucking kid! Yeah, that's APDS being fired at me. I think this guy's a bot. Fuck off. Stupid bot. Honestly, some players. I don't know how they even got past the login screen. Right, we're gonna need some air support in a minute, so I'm gonna jump into plane, I think. Because at the moment, this isn't going very well for my team. And now he's chasing us, of course he is. <sighs> and this is what I have to put up with whenever I play German tanks. This sort of teammate. How'd I got past the login screen? I do not know. I wish I knew the answer to that. We're just gonna have to go for it at this point. If we can at least secure the B point, I'll then jump in the plane, because at the moment we're really struggling. I'll try to secure the B point at least. Shit, send Mark 3. He's got a stabilizer and I don't, so we're gonna be careful. I won't attack the point until it's clear. I want to get rid of the Centurion.
Now, I know Centurions are nippy little buggers, but... They're not exactly Formula One cars, either. Go for the engine shot. You won't be able to swing that turret around in time. Okay, looks like the gunner sits on the right. Here we go. That's him down. Let's, let's get... B point D capped, but not actually capped it, because otherwise we're going to be here forever. And without smoke, I'd rather not. Because the German Bulldog doesn't actually get smoke shells, otherwise I would bring them. Okay, D capped. That's friendly. Okay, let's jump in the plane. Four kills to assist, I'll take that. Let's get in the plane. And the question is, did we get my daily done? We'll have to find out. I think I only scouted one, so probably not. Like, we've got a scout and assist on one. I don't know, we might have done, but we'll see. So yeah, we're taking up the 1,000 kilogram bomb today, because that was also requested by Shadow, he wanted me to use this bomb. Which, I was going to use it anyway, but... <laughs> I normally would take the 50 kilograms, but because of the BR, 50 kilogram bombs are very debatable against most of the enemy tanks, so I'm not even going to try it. Okay, let's have a look. I see a target moving. That's a Pershing. I think it's the Pershing from earlier. Swing it round. Oh Jesus, this thing handles like a boss now. Bum out. Kaboom! T25. Eh, yeah, close enough. Close enough to a Pershing. <laughs> well, that may piss off some people who love to identify vehicles properly. Let's mark these two morons who are just sat here. Like, seriously, you're not helping your team by just camping near the A-point. We've got tanks coming in to deal with you. Is that a... what is that? That's a T-25. Sorry, no, T-26 Super Virgin. I thought at first, because of the turret shape, it was a T-25, and then I look at the stabilizer on the top, and now it's Super Virgin. Any enemy aircraft coming in? No, so... Oh, hang on, there's one. You must have sneaked in. Now I've lost sight of it. Ah, there it is. I think it's a Bearcat. I lost sight of it in all the mayhem. For anyone asked, stealth rounds on both guns. And I think 500 meters convergence. That's why I run on the Focke Wolf, or well, this Focke Wolf. Actually works surprisingly well. That's a Bearcat down. What's that? Looks like another US aircraft. Stay low though, so that way he doesn't see us. It's a Spitfire. Was a Spitfire, that was Mark 22. Bit of runner. Well, this is the first successful run I've actually had with this combo, because every single other time my team dies or I don't get enough SP to get the plane. So that's always a positive. What are you shooting at? Oh, thank you, sir. Although, you're being a bit optimistic with your leading. Course it. Yeah, I'm better at add-ons than you, buddy. Didn't get the kill for that, confirmed, but... Yeah, well. Still, two air kills, five ground kills, two assists. I'll take that. Oh, we've got my leopard one. Sweet. Always a positive. I wasn't far off finishing it anyway, so... Uh, what should I dump into it next? Um, let's go with a pattern. 
So, not a bad combo overall. That actually went really well, surprisingly, because, well, German teams, they've been terrible recently. Like I say, though, the other combos that have yet to be done, they will be done very soon. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys off. I hope you enjoyed today's combo of the KPZ M41 and the Focke 190 FA, and I will catch you all on the next one.